So we finally landed in New York pretty late on August 25th because our flight got delayed a countless number of times. The first thing we did was head to our hotel, which was in Midtown. The next day was bag drop day at Columbia. But before we could head there, we went to Target in Columbus Circle to get some extra stuff for my dorm. So after quite a bit of time searching for things at Target, we were able to head up to Columbia. This is me waiting to get into my dorm room. And this is the view outside my window. <laughs> I was really excited to see my dorm for the first time and as you can see there are a ton of boxes on my bed which are all things that my mom packed up for me and shipped up to my dorm room before I left. As you can see the dorm room is pretty spacious especially considering it's a dorm right in the middle of New York City so my roommate and I were really happy with how that turned out. I recorded the whole moving in process over a period of two days, so I've recorded various time lapses of my parents and me rearranging the room and setting things up. <gasps> Mom, she has a dust ball! Yeah, oh, that's Marie. That's a Marie. Yeah. For context, I have this stuffed animal that I've named Marie, and as it turns out, my roommate has the same exact stuffed animal. So this is me realizing that we have this in common. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Anyways, the day that my parents and I got the bulk of the unpacking done was on Columbia's bag drop day. So I don't know how many schools do this, but bag drop day is basically a day where students who are approved can go in and drop off their stuff and start setting up their room a day early. So this is the day that international students are getting to move in. But if you're approved for bag drop, you can come in and move in all your stuff. You just can't stay the night. So my family decided to take that option just so we could have all this stuff set up and not really have a lot to do for the following day when I was officially moving in and staying the night. I was really hoping to get this video up sooner, but when I went back to start editing my footage, I realized I had about two and a half hours worth of footage since I recorded every moment of the moving in process and then had to go back through every single second of that footage and see what would be included and what would not be included. And then just when I'd finished editing, I ended up getting a cold, so I wasn't able to record my voiceover and that's why it's taken me so long to put this video together. So at this point, we've rearranged the room to the layout that me and my roommate wanted, and my mom's made my bed for me. We've gotten the desk straightened out, we started unpacking stuff. To the left, there's a freezer, fridge, and microwave combo that my roommate rented from Columbia, so we got to keep that in our dorm. And that was really nice, especially considering that this dorm does not have air conditioning. I don't know how common this is for most colleges, but apparently it's pretty common that Ivy League schools, since they're so old, they don't have AC in their dorms. Now Columbia has about five freshman dorms and only two of them have AC. Unfortunately, this dorm is not one of them. So while we were unpacking everything, it was extremely hot. And at that point, we just had a floor fan that my roommate had brought. So we just had that running while we were setting everything up. But it was very tiring. We were all super exhausted by the time we finished the day. As I'm recording this voiceover, I've been in school for about a week and a half and I've just finished up my first week of classes. To be honest, things haven't gone quite as I expected them to go and it's definitely been disappointing. 
I've been pretty homesick, missing my family a lot. Also just struggling to go out and talk to people and sort of find my groove. I've heard from many people that that will come eventually, so I'm just trying to get used to everything and wait until I feel more comfortable. Although getting a cold during my first week of school there definitely did not help since I really wasn't used to all of the germs in the dorm and also the general atmosphere of New York City. After backdrop finished, my family and I went outside, walked around Columbia a little bit. There was a lot of music playing, a lot of new students out, and it was pretty exciting. Okay, so the next day we had to go back for official move-in. I had a check-in time of around 10.30 a.m. I think because we were given more time to continue setting up my room and put some finishing touches on it. We're organizing the room some more. I'm working on setting up a little light that I'm putting in my room and my mom is starting to put some more storage into my closet that I can use. And this time, I brought my cello with me to move in. My dad is also setting up this huge shelf that my parents bought for me, so my roommate and I could put a bunch of pots and pans and anything else we had on top of it. And then you can see on my bed, I have quite a few stuffed animals because I love stuffed animals and I just think it makes the room so much cuter and it makes my bed so much more cozy to me. You can also see that in between our two beds, I have my cello and I actually ended up having to move my cello to a different dorm. It was so hot inside the dorm that I was starting to get worried that the temperature might have a pretty bad effect on my cello. So right now my cello has been staying with a friend of mine at Columbia who is in a dorm that does have AC. Both of my parents were really patient with helping me set up everything and they spent so much time unpacking everything and organizing everything even though I knew both of them were really exhausted so I'm really grateful for that. And my mom is holding this little ramen bowl that you can put instant ramen in and then microwave and so this is me trying to figure out how to use it. I hope that for anyone else who is moving into college or has already moved, that it's been a good experience and I hope that you aren't struggling the way that I have been struggling. But if you are, I'm being told that this is a very common experience, so hopefully we can just get through it together and hope for many new happy experiences. At this point, we're pretty much almost done with the room, just having to organize some last few things. I'll do an official dorm room tour at some point. It's just something that my roommate and I want to film together. So definitely look out for that. And I'm hoping that as I get used to my new schedule, I'll have enough time to edit and upload videos.
In the meantime, here's my family and I just finishing unpacking. I hope you enjoyed watching my freshman year move into Columbia University. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.